Okay, so this store that has okay products. It, JC Penney's is really an old person store. Okay, they are the most ass backwards. One of the most ass backwards companies I've ever, you know, been associated with. Like, okay, they're selling imitation polo, U.S. Polo Assassin. Okay, outfit and dunner. Customers cursed us out because the coupon rung up. The coupon was ten off ten or more, and the product rung up nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So we got cussed out for that one penny. I've had it where customers have gotten mad at me because the coupons doesn't work on Nikes or Converse. Bitch, that's not my fault. That's not my fault that the coupon did not work on Nike or Converse or something like that. Okay? JCPenney's will have you literally to the eye caps. You literally, it's like kind of forcing people or harassing them to get credit cards. You see what I'm saying? And no one's telling them that the interest rates are so high. Okay? Don't get a credit card at JCPenney's. Okay? Don't do it. The increase, the interest rates are so high. Okay? And if you miss it by like a day or so, then, boom, that's $35 you owe them. Okay. Their return policy, like the lady returned, tried to return some pants and they wouldn't take it because it didn't, because she didn't have the receipt and because she uh, didn't have her ID and so on and so on. JCPenney's will have you getting on their floor to fix their shit. Are they appreciative? No. Half of the shit they have isn't even worth being on clearance. You know? Some of the customers have tricked... No, some of the associates have tricked customers into creating credit cards when they didn't know that they were doing that. Have harassed customers into getting credit cards when that's not really what they wanted. You know... I've sat there and, hell, I fell right before Mother's Day, that Saturday, matter of fact, carrying their stuff. Because I'm like 4'11 and a half, okay? But you got to do put back, put back, put back, put back, put back, put back. And this is where the favoritism comes in with JC Penney's, right? Okay, me, I'm black. I was on one side with another black lady and... One of the, so the supervisors from the men's department, she comes over there. She's like, oh, it's not supposed to be two or more pe two people on one side recovering. She ain't said it to me. She said it to the lady because me and her already had issues because she didn't know how to talk to people. Okay. So then she goes to the other side where the Spanish people, her fellow Spanish people were. It was four of them holes on one damn table. Now, why the fuck is it four old, why is it four Spanish people on one table, folding up, clucking, all you hear is them talking. She ain't say nothing to them. Nothing. People turn around and they click up together. And it's always the Spanish people. They always click up together. They always click, click, click. And they recover and they're on their side or whatever. And no one says anything to them. Is a lady on the other side and she gets from behind the register. And she goes to recover or do her putbacks. So all her customers that was that normally was going to her register comes over to our register. And we can never get from behind the damn register to do anything. If you gotta use the bathroom, you stuck. Hold your pee boo. And you better have like the bladder of gods to hold your, you know. And I'm just like, I remember when I first met the new store manager and I had an issue with a customer. Her, uh, not a customer, an associate. Her thing was, unless the associate raised her voice at me. 
I wasn't disrespected. So JC Penny feels unless someone raises their voice at you, which the customer did that day, or so and such, it doesn't matter. JC Penny's will let you get treated like a dog. You can get treated like a dog. You can have things thrown at you, shoved at you, slammed down at the counter where you feel like your life is a threat, and JC Penny does not have your back. Now, I'm not gonna say that about all associates because there are some supervisors that are, you know, that were really, really cool. Because they was looking like, oh my God, I can't believe the customer flipped. But everybody else? Mm -mm. Customer service. I tell you. It's one of those things where you have to be under the fucking inf You, I see why some of those people, like people, when, I, when the new store manager came, people started dropping like flies. Quitting getting fired i'm like well damn what happened to such and such damn what happened to such and such oh she got fired what the fuck happened you know what the hell happened oh my god this person what the hell happened to her? she gone this one gone that one gone i'm like damn everybody's leaving this is um bs and it got to that place and i'm just like Dog. is it really you know Welcome to America where everything is fucked up. And I keep telling people, so, you know, support black owned businesses, you know, support small companies, mom and pop shops. You are constantly giving your money to all these big corporations. And in the end, they don't give a fuck about you. They ain't give a fuck about me. They ain't give a fuck about nobody else. They don't care. All they care about is their store. And then, like, JCPenney's has this golden relief fund, parachute thing, whatever. I didn't donate squat because I knew in the end, it wasn't, none of it was ever going to come towards me. You see what I'm saying? JCPenney has this button where, like, if you're the military or whatever, it's called, like, the hero button, which literally, you can spend, like, $100. It's taking about a dollar and some change off. That ain't no damn... How is that showing appreciation to the military, the Marines, the armies, and everything else? A dollar and some damn change? You know, if something is damaged, oh, the most we can do is give you 10%. Are you kidding me? You can give more than 10%. Stop playing. One lady brought some jewelry from there, the Mo from the Monet collection. That lady didn't even have it for a good week. When I mean that sucker was turning green, I'm like, damn. You know, people want to be part of a company and support a company that supports them back. If your company does not support you, your company doesn't care about you. They care more about the people that's coming in the store, but they don't realize that you are one of the backbones for the people coming in the store. Customers should not be allowed to be rude, disrespectful, sling things, slong things, shove things, push things, call you out your name, and all of these things. Customers should not be allowed to do that. I'm sorry. That's why I can't wait to have my business. I can't wait for my business to grow. And for me to be able to have my own storefront. And for me to be able to because I would do things so differently. I'm sorry, my, my employees come first. My employees have my back and I have theirs. If you don't want to come in and spill, you know, spend your heart on money, that's fine. You know, it's, it's nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to get mad at you for doing that. But you have to treat people the way that you want to be treated. You cannot act a plump fool, act a straight ass, and expect for someone to give you their best. That's not how this works. You know, J.C. Penney's, you can literally be sick as a dog. They don't care. You know, they'd be like, oh, that's just part of customer service. Bitch, no. There's nowhere in the customer service guidelines and bylaws does it say get treated disrespectful, called out your name, harassed. None of that. None of those things fall underneath the guideline. None. 
So if you work at JCPenney's in Pembroke Pines, Florida at two at store number 2456, you know, or you plan on trying to work there, because people don't normally last long. You know, it's been some people that's been there for a really long time, you know. If you got a short patience for disrespect, if you have a short limitation of harassment, if put like this, if you have pride in yourself, okay, and you pride on yourself on being respectful to others, if you want respect, that store, that company is not the place for you to work. Now, if you don't give two flying fucks, people can say what they want to say all them. They cuss you out, call you everything but a child of God, shove stuff at you, sling stuff at you, and so on. By all means, knock yourself out. That is a place to work. Now, you will be standing on your own and you will be by your damn self. Because don't nobody care, especially if you're black. If you're black, <clears throat> them bitches ain't your friend. That store does not care. I'm just saying. Don't say God he didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't tell you. Mm. 